Today, everyone, in this video, let's discuss how to find the n term in the Fibonacci sequence. Mathematically, it is presented by this formula. We call it recursive formula. It's because for us to get the next term in the sequence, we have to add the two previous terms. So the formula is fn is equal to f sub n minus 1 plus f sub n minus 2. Wherein, if you have a given of f sub 1 is equal to 1, f sub 2 is equal to 1, let us find the third, fourth, and fifth number using the recursive formula. So we have F3 or we have the third term. So using the rec recursive formula, our N here is 3 because we're looking for the third term. So we have 3 minus 1 and then plus 3 minus 2. So 3 minus 1 means F2 plus F1. So we need the value of our F2 and yung ating F1. So ang given naman ng F2 natin which is 1, which which is also ang F1 natin ay 1. So when we add them, 1 plus 1, we have 2. So therefore, ang third number natin is equal to 2. Next, for the fourth number or the F4, we have 4 minus 1 and then 4 minus 2. Ibig sabihin, we have to find the F3 or third number and then the second number. Wherein, ang third, na third number natin is 2, which is nakuha natin kanina. And then F2 natin is given, which is 1. So when we add them, the answer is 3. And then for the fifth number, we have 5 minus 1 and then 5 minus 2. Meaning we have to get the fourth term and then the third term, which is yung fourth natin ay 3, ang third natin ay 2. So we, sabihin, we have to add 3 plus 2 so that our fifth term is equal to 5. Therefore, our first term is 1, second term is 1. Third term is 2, fourth term is 3, and then our fifth term is 5, and so on. Okay, let's have another example. Find the 11th, 12th, and 13th Fibonacci numbers using the recursive definition for the Fibonacci sequence. So if we're going to find the 11th term, let's say we have Fib 11, that is also mean 11th term in the Fibonacci sequence. As you can see, given naman po ang ating first 10 terms, which is we have 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. So therefore, for us to get the 11th term using the recursive formula, ang kailangan po natin ay yung two previous term. So using the formula, we have 11 minus 1, which is 10, the 10th term. And then 11 minus 2 means 9. So kailangan natin yung 10th term and then yung 9th term ng ating Fibonacci sequence. Wherein, dito sa ating given na first term, first 10, ito po yung 10th and then yung 9th. So all you have to do is to add them para makuha natin yung pang 11 term. So which is 55 plus 34. Ibig sabihin, ang 11 term natin would be 89. Okay? So next natin is the 12th term. So using the recursive formula, substitute lang natin yung value ng n natin. So we have 12 minus 1 and 12 minus 2. So ibig sabihin, ang kailangan natin ay yung 11th term and then the 10th term. Since nakuha naman na natin yung 11th term, which is yung 89, and then ang 10th term natin is 55, so add lang natin sila. So meron na tayo 144 for the 12th term. And then for the 13th term, okay, we have 13 minus 1 and 13 minus 2. 13 minus 1 means 12, so kailangan natin si F12. And then 13 minus 2 is 11, so kailangan natin si 11th term. Wherein ang 12th term is 144, and then ang 11th term is 89. So therefore, when we add them, the result is 233, which is our 13th term. So that's how we use our formula to find the n term. And of course, dapat given yung mga previous terms natin para makuha natin yung uh, missing na Fibonacci number. Okay? Or simply, we just have to add the two previous terms para makuha natin yung susunod na number. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng recursive formula. Okay? So let's have another example. Example number two. If Fib 22 or the 22nd term is 17,711, and Fib 24 is 46,368, and what is the Fib 23 or the 23rd term? So in this case, using the recursive formula, let's identify what will be our Fib 23. So ang missing natin dito ay si 23. So ibig sabihin, usually, kapag ang given or ang missing is yung 23, usually yan yung ginagawa natin n. We have n, okay, n, n. So meaning, 23 minus 1 means 22. Where in may 22 naman tayo, yes, which is 17, 7, 11. How about 23 minus 2? So here, wala tayong uh, 21st term. So hindi natin siya mahanap dito. So in this case, kapag ganyan po ang ating problem, kunin natin n is yung highest. Kumbaga, ito yon 
Itong F and, di ba yan yung mas mataas kesa dito sa dalawang to. So, ang gagamitin natin and dito is yung mas mataas. We have 22, 23, and 24. At ang mas mataas po dyan ay yung 24. So, yan po yung gagamitin natin and. Okay, so we have F24 is equals to F24 minus 1 plus F24 minus 2. Wherein, magkakaroon na tayo ng F24 is equals to F23 plus F22. So, ang hanap po natin dito ay F23. So, para makita natin yan, yung F22 ay lipat natin sa kabila. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng F24 minus F22 para makuha natin si F23. Wherein, si F24 is 46,368 and then F22 is 17,711. So, kailangan lang natin siyang isubtract or i-minus para makuha natin si F23. So, therefore, pag i natin yan, the answer will be 28,657. So, that is the 23rd term on our Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so, other solution natin for this without using the, the formula, but the concept of the formula will be used. Example, kapag yung 3 consecutive number ang nawawala, for example, 22, 23, and 24, and ang missing ay yung nawawala, yung nasa gitna, ang gagawin lang natin is yung highest, yung minus mo dun sa lowest. So, we're in. Ano ba yung highest natin dito? Yung 46,368. I-minus lang natin sa lowest na given, which is the 17,711. So, the answer will be 28,657. And equal lang naman sila. Okay? So, let's have another example. Fib 18 is equal to 2,584. And Fib 20 is equal to 6,765. The missing is Fib 19. So, let us use the recursive formula. And then again, ang gagamitin natin dito n kapag ganito yung uh, problem, gagamitin natin yung mas mataas na n term which is yung 20. So in this case, F20 or 20th term yung ating gagamitin sa formula. So we have F20 is equal to 20 minus 1 plus F20 minus 2. So we need, okay, kailangan natin yung 19 and 18 for us to get the 20. But here, ang missing ay si 19. So, ang gagawin natin yung F18 ay ilipat natin sa kabila. So, magkakaroon tayo ng F20 minus F18. Where in may given naman po tayo ng 20 which is 6, 7, 6, 5. And then, our 18 is 2, 5, 84. Therefore, isusubtract natin siya. The answer will be 4,181. And that is our 19th term on our Fibonacci sequence. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag may nawawala, nagma-minus lang naman po tayo. Katulad nito. Diba? Dito natin siya kinuha. Yung concept natin dun sa other solution. So, for us to get the F19, we just have to subtract the F20 and F18. Okay? So, we have 6, 7, 6, 5 minus 2, 5, 84, which is equals to 4,181, which is also equal if we're going to use the recursive formula. Okay? Okay? 